Well boys, here we got the Big Arians GT20 with the 20 horse Kohler Magnum on her. And it's a hoss. It is a big old hoss. I bought this tractor from my brother. And it's got a uh, shaft drive deck. You can see the drive shaft hanging right there. <laughs> but uh, one bad thing about Arians tractors <laughs> is besides being over complicated and hard to work on as far as space to work on things like getting your hands into particular places and well, I'll just show you here you know I, that's what you got to deal with there's not a whole lot of space to work on anything um, raise the back of this joker here there we go yeah there's just not not a lot of space to work on anything in the Aryans uh, they're a, a great machine there's nothing there's nothing wrong with them besides maybe a little bit of uh, I guess you'd call it assembly line design where you know mechanican on one when you got to do maintenance and stuff isn't really much of a consideration uh, besides well in place of um, the easiest way to get her down the assembly line, quickest way to get her down the assembly line. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of dicked, but anyway, the, my biggest complaint with Arians is their deck. This is a 60 inch flex and float deck. Uh, it cuts, it cuts beautiful, it has a beautiful cut fit, finish on it. Um, it does have a, uh, a gearbox on top for shaft drive. However, this is a tensioning spring, and not a lot of tension there, you know. So I put this belt on. I think it was uh, last spring, and uh, my brother used it uh, all last season. And he's got a little bit of grass. He's, you know, cutting some brush and whatnot, which is the wrong answer for a deck like this because the deck, as you can see, it's just stamped sheet metal. That's all it is. There's more metal in a Gravely deck, a Gravely 50-inch deck, than there is in the entire tractor as far as Arians is concerned. Uh, Gravely will put an extra 8-inch uh, steel plate right up in here over top of their deck where the spindle mounts to so it's 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 twice as strong the plate extends all the way across all three pulleys but uh, as you can see uh, what happens is this deck will flex uh, maybe that's why they call it the flex and float deck but it's not supposed to flex here at the pulleys eh? so when it flexes at the pulleys it ends up stretching the belt and wearing the belt out so, this joker here, uh, if I can hold this thing, you can see the deck. Oh, can you see that there? Uh, well, you'll just have to take my word for it. Here, you can, you can see the slop in the belt already after one season, but what I'm having an issue with is the pulleys just spinning around or the deck or the belt spinning around free on the pulleys and not not having enough tension of course to pull uh, hard enough to cut grass so uh, Arians are pretty good machines uh, they got a good design uh, this deck though is it's absolutely atrocious in order to change this belt you've got to take this whole top plate off this whole top assembly has to be lifted off so you got a bolt there you got a bolt there you got three major bolts in the back you know uh, when you're designing a deck as far as I'm concerned you should be able to go through one side uh, with the belt and wrap it around all the pulleys just like a serpentine design on a car uh, but you know, in defense of the deck, other than the deck uh, being very light duty, uh, so therefore I'm going to only put it in a finish mower class. There is no way this thing is a brush cutter. 
uh, it, it's it's literally been torn to pieces. I, that pulley over here, I've actually repaired for Chad. I've actually uh, pulled that thing off and uh, bent the deck back into shape, re-welded it, and uh, got it back to where it needed to be. <laughs> but uh, it does cut well, but the deck is, in my view, junk. Uh, a gravely cuts very well as well, but uh, you can run over light trees. You can. You know, put her through uh, three, four foot of grass and uh, hit rocks and everything else with it. And 50 years later, you're still using the same deck with the same pulleys and everything else. So that's a testament to uh, strength and design. And, um, well, I'm not going to complain too much about this tractor. I've still got my Gravely uh, uh, four wheel out there with the big old Onan motor on it, 17 horse Onan. And uh, it's it's a hell of a machine. Uh, I just got this tractor from my brother. He didn't need it no more, and I gave me a hell of a deal on it. So I decided to go ahead and take him. It's it's a great tractor. It's got power steering. Um, it has a lot of really nice options. It's got uh, electric uh, front and rear PTO, so I can run implements both front and rear. Uh, it's got some nice sized tires on it, bar lugs, uh, and uh, like I say, it's all hydrostatic drive, hydrostatic lift. Uh, it's a real smooth riding tractor, very smooth riding. The steering uh, is not quite as responsive and exact as I'd like it to be, uh, like a, a Gravely is, but. Uh, it works well. It works well. And it has a 60 inch deck, so you can knock down some turf real fast with it. At least relative to a four wheel lawn tractor. Uh, it's not like a, a zero turn or anything, but there she is. So my, my belt here is dicked, boys. She's dicked. So I got a new belt coming in for it, and uh, I'll have her back on the lawn uh, by Friday afternoon, hopefully, if they get her in in time down there at B&G. So, uh, see ya!